Hello and welcome to the Landings Association's public GIS landing page and our training video part 1. In this video, we'll discover the map gallery, tools, and elements. The Landings Association is excited to bring this opportunity to our residents and their visitors. The map gallery is hosted on GeoThink, a web-based GIS platform powered by local firm Thomas & Hutton. Here you'll find a gallery of maps about life at the landings. The maps in this gallery are more than just a pretty picture. They include spatially referenced data that allow visitors to explore the built, natural, and recreational environment that makes up the landings on Skidaway Island. Featured maps include boundaries, land use, utilities, lagoons, trails and paths, roadways, and elevation. Let's use this opportunity to visit one of the most popular maps in the gallery, Land Use. Begin by clicking on the Land Use header underneath the image of the map. After agreeing with the terms and conditions, click Enter. The map will load in a new tab. We'll begin by exploring some of the map tools and elements. In the lower left-hand corner of the map screen, you'll find a scale bar which graphically represents the scale of the map. The scale bar will update as you zoom in and out of the map. Above the scale bar is a small image of a map. By running the mouse over this image, a selection of smaller images will appear. These images are base maps, the imagery that forms the background setting for a map. They will each change when clicked on. Next, let's visit the upper right-hand corner of the map, where we'll find the search bar. Here you can type in an address and be automatically directed to its location on the map. Watch as I type in an address here at the landings, 21 Sundu Road. As I begin to type, similar addresses appear below the search bar. You can either hit enter or select the address as it appears below. As you can see, the map has automatically directed me to the address entered, as indicated by the blue marker. Here we'll discover other map tools starting with the left hand corner of the map screen. The zoom in and zoom out buttons allow you to decrease or increase the magnification of the screen. The zoom to extent button allows you to zoom out to the entire map. The zoom to previous and next extent buttons are similar to the backward and forward buttons on any web browser. The draw tool allows us to create points, lines, texts, and shapes on the map. These tools are designed so you can customize the map surface for your personal or communication needs. I'm going to introduce each tool on the draw toolbar from left to right. First, I'll be adding a point. The point can be added to any desired location on the map. The same can be done for a polyline. A polyline can be drawn by clicking once to begin, then again at each desired vertex, and double clicking to end. Watch as I draw the polyline. Afterwards, I can edit the color, line width, and style. Finally, by clicking the Geometry tab, I can see the area of the shape in various units of measurement. The Draw tool also includes the capability to draw a freehand polyline, regular polygon, or freehand polygon. To further customize the map, I can also add text. Text can be added by clicking the Text button and then clicking to start at any desired placement location. As an example, I'll type the words, my house. The text toolbox also gives me the opportunity to change the font size, style, and color. The format of map graphics can also be edited either while creating graphics or after the fact. Edit by selecting the wrench icon on the drawing toolbar, then select the desired graphic to modify. I'll click the first item in the dropdown. Properties. Here I can edit properties such as color, size, style, and opacity for all graphics. 
Watch as I select and edit the graphics on the map. Finally, the graphics can be deleted individually by selecting with the wrench tool or by selecting the trash can icon and deleting all at once. Thank you for exploring the map gallery, elements, and tools with us. Please be sure to check out our next video, Training Video Part 2, where we will explore the map.